What's up guys? I'm actually heading over to Diddy's house. If you guys know him as Activerse. Heading over to his house, we're giving each other fades because we're going to an event that is coming up this Saturday. All of us are going, me, my family, Chandler, Diddy, and everyone is gonna be there. It's gonna be really cool, but we need to tidy up because our hair is looking rough, so we need fades. But I was talking to Diddy last night and I'm really thinking about doing a retwist on his hair because he definitely needs it. Got some Congos. Should I freeform it? No! I don't know. I should have never let it slip, bro. Bro, what? Dang, big transformation. Dang, bro. Look very different. I wanna see if I can do it. I'm gonna look at his hair and see if it's possible, see if I have enough time for it. He has a bunch of new growth. I literally don't know if he, he's done anything to it since I actually started his dreadlocks. So we'll take a look. It's gonna be a lot of work, but we'll see. Alrighty guys, just pulled up to Diddy's, but I'm really looking forward to see what his dreadlocks look like to see if I can actually snatch him back. Now, if you guys think I can do it, make sure to leave a comment down below that I can do it and give this video a thumbs up because I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I feel like I got my supplies, but we'll see. Yes, sir. Good, bro. How you doing? Good. So for this video, Diddy wanted me to give him a high top fade. And right away, I noticed that his hair was super long. And after I cut down a lot of the bulk. I noticed that he had waves under all that hair. So it's really interesting to see that he's been growing this out and woofing for so long, probably four months at minimum. And it's really interesting to see that he actually had waves under all that bulk. But I ended up hooking him up with a really nice fade. And then he asked for this. All right, guys, I just finished up the fade, doing the lineup and then lined up his beard and everything. Looks really clean. I don't know about those dreads though yet. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm cutting Diddy's hair and he wants to get a design in it like this. So I'm about to do my best right now. I've done one design on Diddy. But I'm really stoked on this one. Yeah, shout her out too, she's cool. Brown, I don't know how to say the name. I've actually shared her on uh, Great Locks before, but shout out to her right here. Go follow her, she has some dope dreads. All right guys, this is where everything got a little more interesting. I literally messed up. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I did it a little too early when I dropped down that angle. You guys can see me arching right behind the ear. I wanted to go all the way to the back of the head, but once I started arching, I just knew I had to end it right there. And then this is what it turned out to look like. It turned out okay. Everything looked really crisp, but it didn't come out like I wanted it. So that's that. All right guys, just finished up the cut. Diddy hooked it up. Sheesh. But yeah, I'm about to look at his dreads and see if this is manageable, if we can do this today. I'm gonna sit him down and then he's gonna pull down his hair and see what it's looking like. All right, bro. You pull your hair down. Go. Cool. All right, let's see. When did I do your hair? <laughs> December. <laughs> Sheesh. The end of December though, so January. I already see everything, dude. Oh, shoot. Dang, bro, you weren't playing. Yeah, bro, I wasn't playing. You fixed that, it's a miracle you did on me, bro. <laughs> I'll give the glory to God. <laughs> I'm scared, bro. Cause like, some of the hairs on this side are on that side, and then some of the hair. Um, mm -hmm. I already know, bro. I ain't done it, done it. Um, goes. You got some free forms, bro. If not, I'm cutting it today. Seriously, bro. We're gonna start Dread Journey again. And this time, I'll, I'll learn my lesson. But look, he's got some Congos. I didn't know it was like this, bro. Yeah, bro. This is how my hair was, but it wasn't like this. Yeah, Which... Congo, I remember that. This is cool. Should I freeform it? Uh, I don't like freeform, to be honest with you. You don't? No. Especially like after where it got to right now, no. I would love to have a man bun again. Yeah, because your hair is long. If you did a touch up and re bro. Hmm. Look at this. It's all matted, guys. No! I should have never let it slip, bro. This side's not as bad, because there's some that are free down here. Which side is bad? This side is super congoed up, but bro, I'm telling you, I think I got it. Bro, I think I might bring you back. No way. Yeah. Seriously? Do you know how many dreads you have? 55. That's not bad. 54 maybe. Cause I had way more than you. Yeah. That's dope though, your dreads are nice bro. If I revive them. Seriously? Yeah. Bro, I'm excited if we do. Alrighty guys, there's a lot to work with. There's only 55, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna really focus on getting the separation and once separation is there, I'm telling you it's gonna be a piece of cake. But what, one thing I'm really gonna focus on is maintaining the strength of his hair. And what I mean by that is making sure that I'm not cutting off any of the hair that is supposed to be in the dreadlock that it needs to be in. So I'm gonna be strategic with this. And the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. 
Because if not, we cutting it today. Yeah, we gonna be chopping it off. I'm gonna start from brand new. I'm probably gonna do the same thing that I did, grow it out and then turn it to dread. So if you guys wanna follow me in that journey, you can come through. So we gonna see today if this will work, man. Bro, I got you, I got you, <laughs> I'm telling you. It's about to crazy. Gospel. I'm gonna have to play gospel music. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm going to grab two dreadlocks, follow it down the root, find the middle and you can separate it at the root where all this new growth is. And then what you want to do is you're going to cut up from the bottom. Don't cut down because then you'll, you'll be losing hair inside of the dreadlock. And, um, same thing back here. It's like just making sure that they're all equal in strength as far as hair coming out of the scalp into the dreadlock. So that's what I'm going to be doing on this tire head. So, it's time to revive these things, because one more look on everything. This is the before right here. You can really see how all this is connected down here. All this is literally just like a bar. If you can picture just like a Kit Kat, it's kind of like that. <laughs> it literally is, but um, yeah, we're gonna fix that in today's video. I'm ready. It's my first time doing this, but I know what I'm doing. Yes, sir. The best way to do this is I'm finding where the knot is, where all of the Congos meet. And then that's where you want to find the separation, find the line, what you want to define. So I'm coming in here. I'm going to pull this dreadlock out. What I'm doing is I'm going down the dread. And I'm going to do this with every single one, so pay attention. So going straight down the hair that I want, which is this dreadlock right here. I'm going to find the thickness of it and maintain that thickness all the way down into the new growth. And then I'm going to see my finger come through. This is the section of hair that I'm keeping and I'm going to put into this lock right here. So I'm going to separate that and then this is gonna be its own lock after I'm done with it. So before I go into it, like I said, I just saturated the hair with water and I'm actually getting as much separation done without the scissors before I go in with the scissors on the parts that actually need it. So I gained this little section right here, so I'm gonna keep. And you wanna keep your box sections just as well as when they were first established. So now that I got that section, I pretty much have a hole right here. And I'm going to cut up into this dreadlock. Here we go. Oh, shoot, no way. So that's separation right there. So this dreadlock is free now. Just like that. Boom. Boom, boom. Dang, my lip ashy. So it's really as simple as that. And then now it just costs a retwist right there. No way, bro. I feel the hair just drooping. Yeah. Yeah. But the biggest thing you want to achieve is making sure that the hair on the scalp is just as much as that the hair that is in the actual dreadlock. No way. So now we have two. It's Your life's crazy. already being transformed, bro. No way, bro. Finally! Yes! Today is a new day! Oh, yeah, I felt that one. Yes, sir. That was a good feeling. Guys, I'm being completely honest with you. This was really the coolest experience I've ever got to do just because it was a huge transformation. And talking about the actual process of this, I used the scissors for maybe five dreadlocks. And then after that, I did all just pure hand separation. So it really was just a bunch of strength and brute force on, on pulling all this apart. This is a quick example of how everything is looking. And this is what it looks like of me actually separating the hair. It was a lot of strength. I was literally putting probably 10 to 12 pounds of pressure in separating the hair. And little pro tip is buildup is completely normal, but always try to wash it out as best as possible. Like you can see Diddy's hair, he has a little bit of buildup, but it is completely normal, especially with him having all those Congos. This will wash out, especially now that his hair isn't all clumped up together. Alrighty guys, the transformation is already coming in play. It's actually easier than I expected. Um, all this side is free now. Jeez. Obviously you just need to just retwist it. Um, these ones I already got a head start on, kind of did some crochet hooking and stuff like that. So you guys can see these right here. But once everything's done, it's gonna look really good. And then this is literally what it was looking like on that side. Everything was really connected like this. So I'm about to go into this side and I'm gonna finish up. You can see the difference up here 
this is all connected. See that? And then this is all just the new growth. All the separation has been done. It's crazy. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to do it, to be honest. But believe it or not, I didn't even use a scissor on this side. I literally just pulled with my strength everything apart and it actually came apart. It wasn't that bad. But yeah, it obviously looks, you know, like it needs a retwist and that's obviously what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna touch everything up and I'm telling you guys, it's gonna look really clean. But this is after separation. Now this is the part that really creates the look. It's cleaning everything up, you know, doing the crochet hooking. I actually didn't use any locking gel on this video. I'm leaving it to him to do his own retwist so that he can learn on his own. But what I did is I basically got all the separation and I did a dry retwist. And with me saying a dry retwist, I mean with water. I mean no product, but just water. Not actually dry because you don't want to ever do your retwist with your hair completely dry but you can do it without product. And that's very important to do, especially to maintain your hair so that it doesn't get to the point to where Diddy's was today with it being all combined. Do a dry retwist after the shower, after you wash your hair. You don't have to always put product in your hair when you do a retwist. You can just always do separation and do a dry retwist, but have water in your hair. So I guess you could say a wet retwist just to make it more simple for you guys and more clear. So I didn't use any product, but I would definitely recommend if you're gonna do a retwist, use Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. That's gonna be the product of the day. And also use a crochet needle, especially if you have all this new growth and all this frizzy hair, it was definitely necessary to get Diddy's hair back to where it needed to be. And that would be another product of the day. I'm gonna list two of them today. I usually don't do this, but both of these were very crucial in this process. Obviously I didn't use the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel, but he's going to be using it after he does the braid out. And you'd want to use the locking gel about once every two months, maybe even once a month, depending on how you want to do it. It's all personal preference, but, but I'm telling you, everything turned out great. This was the transformation right here that really set it off. This video is to really encourage you guys. If your dreadlocks have gotten out of hand and you want to fix them, you can fix them. Anything is really possible and you can make it look the way you would like it to. Bro, what? Dang, big transformation. Hey, ready for this? I told you I went to that. <laughs> I told y'all, man, retwist coming soon, man. Y'all thought I was going free for him? Yeah, you thought wrong, man. <laughs> you thought wrong. How right, look, bro? Looks good, bro. Like, all these are nicely maintained. Like, bro, from before to this. By the course, y'all. How to do this. Hey. Watch out. You go check it out. Should I check it out? Dang, that's crazy, yeah. I can't believe we did that. <laughs> Congress that I had, I really didn't think this man was going to do it. No, I really believed in him, though, actually. I really believed in you. Before that, I had no beliefs <laughs> that this was possible. I didn't know how it, how it was going to be done. Though. Like, I was like, I know he's going to figure it out. But for me, it's like the only way to do it is either cut it or try it and then cut it. Dang, bro. Look very different. I look like I got a small head now. Dang. I like my head like this. Dang, bro, I look like a rapper, Loki. That's crazy, dude. Dang, look at this hairstyle, too. Look at the haircut right there. Hey. Uh-oh, I need to get that. That'd be cool if your hair was that thick. Like, dreadlocks that thick, it'd be kind of dope. Uh -huh. I might keep it like this, bro. Dread it together. <laughs> More congos? <laughs> More congos to come. See if you can separate that. Dang. Oh, bro, this is good. What see, you, do you have a hair tie? You need to see what it looks yeah. like pulled up? Are right, you ready? You discover something new? Yeah, bro. With the hair tie? Look what it looks like. I'm gonna let the two of them go down like this. Actually, I'm gonna do one. My head, my head kind of still hurts, but it feels good. Like it's, it's not nice like a tight. hurt, hurt. Yeah, it's like it feels good. Sheesh. Oh, let me put this, let me tuck this in at the right spot. Yeah, and then once like these have been in for a while, like just take out the braids, and then it'll hold. It'll hold like that. Yeah. Then just do like a proper retwist. Okay, I'm just leave it like this for now. Dang. Dang, bro, that's a transformation. Dang, bro, you know what I'm saying? Dreadlock, 100K, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go subscribe to Agdiverse. Yeah, bro, with this hairstyle, we can hit a 100K, bro. We got to, bro. This is a million, bro. This, yeah, it's a million views, bro. Sheesh, that's crispy, dude. Dang. Retwist done, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to put music right here. <laughs>
<laughs> nope. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I feel it myself. I've never yeah. felt myself like this before. Dang, no. that's a crisp little no, groove. Yes, sir. This is probably the, one of the best work I've ever done. Yeah, I agree. Like, it feels good to do something like this for someone. I know how barbers feel now. <laughs> like, and you cut my hair, too. You back, you know? And you cut my hair, too, yeah. bro. That's, nobody does that, bro. Dang. Who does that? But the good, the great, the great locks, man. Go subscribe, go like his channels, man. He got like, he got great locks, gun the great, great music, and then the family channel, great family. Man, man y'all, I can't, I can't hate on him, man. I gotta give him uh, one million views on this. I bought a hundred k likes on this. Is that what you're expecting? One million views? One million views. Yes, sir. Understand. One million views. Let's get it down. So everybody, comment down below. What y'all think about this fire or not? For how or else I'm cutting my hair. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'm definitely gonna be dropping more content with this. If you guys wanna see more collabs with Activerse or Diddy, make sure to leave a comment down below saying that you want more collaborations and we can definitely do more things with his hair and everything like that. We had some ideas of dyeing his hair and really just doing a whole bunch of cool stuff. But also I wanted to add, if you guys are new and you haven't seen the channel, I'm actually going through the process of allowing my hair to freely form. It is up in a bun and I told you guys that I'm trying to not wear it in a bun, but I do just so happen to have it in a bun right now. But other than that, I'll keep you guys updated. But other than that guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.